Hey guys, it's your girl Rayan, and I am back with another simple and budget friendly video for you to make. In this video, all you need is a yarn and a heart frame, and everything I bought that I'm using are from Dollar Store. So let's get started. As I mentioned, all the products are from the Dollar Store, and completely, completely forgot that this white yarn that I bought it from Walmart. My doll store didn't have it, the co the white color, so I ended up going there and to get the yarn, the the frame I got from Dollar Tree. So first, cut a few strands. I wrap my yarn around a buck to make it easier and faster. Once I have a few, I did the basic technique of macrame. Two colors of strands doesn't have to be mine. And the knot I did is called the lark's head knot. Sometimes it's referred to as the cow hitch. You basically fold the yarn in half and place the loop over the frame and then the ends go through it. That's it. Very simple, right? That's what I told myself. <laughs> so I did this throughout the frame. Now let me tell you, this is the most tedious job of making this sheet. Like OMG, like oh my gosh. Also, I happened to bought the yarn. It's for knitting. So... This could be the reason why it took me so long to make. I believe the yarn was like 1.5 milliliter. Like it's really skinny. Like no joke. <laughs> so I also did like one strand at a time. So if you're going to make this, I recommend to use a macrame cord or like a rope or a much thicker yarn. If you use a yarn for like knitting like what I did, I suggest you have like two, three strands together to make it thicker. And in between the crossbar, I doubled the strands. And what I like about this, it is easy to follow and you can do this with your kids or while watching a show to kill time. Next, once you cover the middle frame, I cut the strings to the, to the length that I wanted. But not too short so that the third frame doesn't show. Then this is optional. What I did is that I comb my yarn and then reshaping it as I go. You don't have to comb it because it still looks good. Still looks nice. Comb, comb it out or not. Either way, it still looks good. Then... Do the same technique on the next frame, which is the smallest um, heart frame, the closest in the middle. I combined the two yarns together to get a different um, texture, with different colors, and contrast. So it's super basic to do, and you can choose your own colors. It doesn't have to be like mine. It doesn't have to be in a heart frame like what I'm doing. I happen to have this frame sitting al alone in my table. And also, Valence Day is approaching. I want to decor my wall with some type of heart on it. And then this is the uh, red yarn that I have. Didn't feel like buying any other colors. But again, it's up to you. You can choose whatever color you want. Since Valentine's is coming very soon i think pink and purple will look good together as well like similar to mine like a bright red and white or just red as itself or red and pink just to go along with the valentine's theme i think it's really good and also another cool one is using all the colors of the rainbow especially on this heart frame it will look so cool and totally suits very well I mean colors are endless you can put a bow or a sign or not just really emphasize the heart shape I think it looks very nice the way it is I think the colors I chose fits really well together it gives a nice clean look and the deep red really pops out and I cut more of the strands on top of the frame to, to, not to give, but to emphasize the heart shape as well. So same thing, once you cover the frame again in the middle part, cut the 
the yarn, shape it, comb it out if you want. And this one, I didn't really comb it out as much as the first one. I just reshaping it, cutting it the way I want it, and also to really cut it so that the heart really, really pops out. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this short video of mine because I have another video coming very soon, which I am super excited. Can't wait. It's another macrame inspiration and love showing it to you guys. So if you like this video, please click the like button, comment down below because I like to hear from you. If you're new, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Until then, thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video.